Hello developer! In this video, I'll tell you more about how you can use Autofill to help your users fill out your payment forms more quickly and accurately. Forms are the first thing I remember from my early days building websites, and they haven't changed much since then. For decades, they have been an important part of the internet and a mechanism for users to exchange information with web-based services, and they still are. However, filling out forms isn't any easier today, especially on services where it's harder to type, like a mobile device. Even more importantly, when your users need more time to fill out forms, their information is exposed to those around them for a longer period of time. For forms collecting sensitive information like credit card details, this can have serious consequences for your users. Autofill makes your forms easier and faster to fill out correctly which not only helps your users fly through your app flows, but also reduces the exposure of the information collected, something particularly important if the information is sensitive. Check out these tips to prepare your payment forms to get the most out of autofill. Annotate relevant views in your forms with hints based on the type of information you're collecting. This helps autofill services fill out your form fields using previously saved information with higher accuracy. You can set autofill hints using the Android Autofill Hints attribute in your XML layouts, or programmatically with the set Autofill Hints method on any object subclassing from the View class. Here's a list of Autofill Hints that are relevant for payments. Note that some hints represent information containing multiple parts. These composite hints have variants that offer the same information separately. For example, the credit card expiration date hint is used to autofill a date that includes a month and a year. But if your form has separate fields for each element, you can use the credit card expiration month and credit card expiration year hints with each respective field. For a detailed summary of available hints, check out the link below. However, sometimes your views don't match fields in your form one-to-one. -one. For example, you may use a custom view to collect the expiration date of a card using multiple edit text fields, or a picker dialog that is not part of your form. In situations like this, you can let Autofill know how to handle the information in the view and continue to offer speedy and accurate checkout flows. In your view subclass, override the getAutofill type, getAutofill value, and Autofill methods to let the Autofill service know how to display and save the information you are collecting. To learn more, Check out the guide and open source sample using the links below. Also, treat information collected by your payment forms as sensitive by reducing the exposure at runtime. For example, string objects are immutable, so they need to wait for garbage collection events to clear the information they hold. You can reduce the exposure of sensitive form data by using mutable data types, like character arrays, to handle the information until you relate to your payment processing stack. Then, Clear your object in memory as soon as the payment is completed. Check out this article if you'd like to explore additional techniques to handle sensitive information in memory. Whether you're a fan or a critic, forms still are a fundamental part of how internet-based services work today. Autofill lets you keep your forms versatile and accurate to improve conversion performance. Take a look at this guide in the Android Docs and update your payment forms to maximize Autofill's accuracy and make your checkout more seamless and secure. See you soon, developer.